Now coming to the packages. So there are different packages are there that includes the accepted packages, the industrial packages. Again, the industrial packages has got three sections, IP1, IP2, IP3. Type A packages, type B, U and type B, M packages and type C packages. The packages shall mean the complete product of com packaging operations consisting of the packaging and its contents prepared for transport. The type of packages covered by these regulations that are subject to the activity limits and materials restrictions of sections has been given. So different packages, uh, different kind of uh, radioactivity and different amount of radioactivity is transport. So they have been distributed in different kind of packages. There's something called accepted packages, something called industrial packages. So we'll see in the forthcoming slides what is accepted package. So the accepted packages is if uh, a very low amount of radioactivity is being transported and uh, it poses a minimal risk and uh, that is why they are, sub uh, they are subjected to a few regulatory requirements. The characteristics uh, of these packages uh, includes the commonly used is small quantities, for example, samples, consumer products and medicinal uh, use like uh, RIE kits. The typical contents includes naturally occurring radioactive material also called as norms such as natural uranium and depleted uranium. The regulatory limits uh, includes uh, if it is a 10 to the power minus 3 of A1 value that is special form and 10 to the power minus 3 of A2 value that is non-special form and 10 to the power minus 4 of A2 value then it falls within the accepted package means what are the limits which we have discussed if it is 1000 times for the A1 value then it will go into the accepted package and if it is a 1 of 10,000 times then it will go into the accepted package and the usage is mainly in the medical field and for transporting low risk radioactive material for research and diagnostic purposes. The industrial packages has got three categories IP1, IP2, IP3 and they all involve uh, different levels of radioactive materials and mainly it is used for industrial purposes and uh, the uh, type 1 has got uh, the low risk material, type 2 for the uh, moderate risk and uh, IP3 is used for the higher risk materials. The different uh, properties are given into this so you can pause the slides and have a look on to this. Now coming to the type A packages. Such transport conditions are also known as normal conditions of transport and type A packages are designed to withstand such normal conditions of transport. Normal conditions of transport means if if some if it falls from some height if uh, some some sharp object uh, uh, interacts with that so it should be able to withstand those conditions so uh, those are called as a uh, normal conditions of transportation and type a packages which uh, uh, nuclear medicine prod uh, products or industrial applications type a packages are used and these packages should uh, while during transportation come across situations such as falling from a small height, meeting the rainwater, stacking of the packages during the storage and puncture due to, due to the fall of a small pointed steel rod onto the package. These are the conditions which can happen during the transportation so it should be able to stand to that condition. The requirement of type A packages are it requires the minimum dimensions and uh, a minimum dimension should not be less than 10 centimeter and the design of package shall take into the account of uh, the temperature range from minus 40 degrees centigrade to 70 degrees centigrade so it should be able to uh, hold up to that uh, temperature and the containment system should retain its radioactive contents under the ambient uh, pressure reduction to 60 kilopascals the tests they are subjected are water spray test, free drop test, stacking test and the penetration test. These tests we will be seeing in the uh, forthcoming slides. And the liquid contents uh, should be designed to completely enclose the liquid content and ensure the retention within the secondary outer containment we saw uh, in previous slides and even if the primary inner component leaks. And it is subjected to some additional test of uh, 9 meter drop and uh, 1.7 meter penetration test. 
since it is a liquid material so uh, it is subjected to a 9 meter drop test and uh, uh, 1.7 meter penetration test some uh, additional requirements are there when it is being transported by the air and uh, those are for the packages to be transported by air the trans the temperature of accessible surface should be should not exceed 50 degrees centigrade at an ambient temperature of 38 degrees centigrade with no account taken for insulation the package should be so designed that if they are exposed to an ambient temperature ranging from minus 40 degree to 55 degree centigrade the integrity of containment would not be impaired the packages should have containment system able to withstand without leakage and internal pressure which produces a pressure differential of not less than maximum normal operating plus uh, 95 kilopascals these are additional requirements for the uh, transportation by the air now coming to type p packages and the, it has got two categories u and m so u means unilateral approval and m means multilateral approval means uh, let's see the u stand for unilateral approval this means that if type b u package requires approval by the company authority in the country where the package is designed manufactured and the first used so the only country which is uh, manufacturing and the designing only the approval from that country is uh, required and if uh, if the approval from all the countries which are during the transport if there are two countries are involved into that uh, uh, into that transportation and approval is required only from one country then it is called as a type b u package and if the both countries or the wherever it is passing through that transportation material all the uh, approvals uh, approvals required from all those countries then it is called as a type b u m packages and uh, for type b u packages once approved by the national competent authority the packages can be used for transport internationally without requiring further approvals from other countries unless specified by the regulations and use cases are suitable for transporting most high level radioactive materials such as spent nuclear fuels or highly radioactive sources that requires robust shielding and containment type b m packages m means multilateral as we saw this type package requires not only approval by the competent authority in the country of origin but also by the competent authority in all countries through which the packages will be transported and including the country of destination and the approvals as involves multi multiple countries authorities ensuring compliance with international regulations across borders and the use cases for these kind of packages required for transporting radioactive metal that may need additional safety measures due to extreme hazards for example highly radio highly dangerous radioactive substances such as plutonium shipments especially when cross international borders or involving sensitive materials coming to type c packages these are uh, robust design packaging uh, uh, systems which uh, uh, should withstand severe conditions including air uh, transport scenarios ensuring that they maintain integrity even during the extreme circumstances the applications for these kind of packages commonly used for uh, transportation transportation of radioactive isotopes in medical industrial and research applications type c packages are essential for safe handling and delivery the testing uh, requirements for these uh, uh, packages must pass in stringent test including the free drop test the penetration test and the fire resistance test